Hello and welcome back. In this session, we will take a look at some of the driver methods which you will be using on day to day basis, which will be useful. For this, I'm going to create a new class here. Go to new class. Give the name here driver methods. Enable main and click on finish. In the last session, we have seen how to work with mobile gestures. From that file, I'm going to copy some of the code up until driver initialization. Okay, control A and control I for indenting the code okay so there is some error here let me fix this add throws okay so here we have initialized android driver and the object name is called ad with android driver we have several methods if you type in ad dot you will get the list of methods which are available here with Android driver. Okay, so we will take a look at some of these today. That is system dot out dot println ad dot get current package. So this will give you the package name. Okay, this out. The next one will be ad dot get context. Sometimes before you start the test, if there are multiple packages available in your application, you need to know the context as well as the package name so these methods will be useful in those cases to get the context name get orientation is another method wherein if you are working on a test case with a specific orientation you can get the orientation before you start working on the actual test okay another useful method will be ad dot current activity to get the current activity sometimes you might want to know the battery information so you can make use of get battery info dot get state to get the battery information okay sometimes you might want to check whether the device is locked or not before you proceed with the test case sometimes during synchronization if you have set the lock timeout then the device may get locked so you need to check whether the device is 
locked before you proceed with your test case. Similarly, if you are using maps, then you might want to know the location, the current location of the mobile device. So for that, you can make use of ad.location method and you can get the latitude and longitude as well as altitude. Okay, here I'm going to print uh, altitude and latitude and longitude. Okay. So these are some of the useful methods which you can make use. The other one would be, you know, ad dot close app. ad dot lock device and ad dot close. Okay, so here uh, this will close the application. Here it will lock the device and after the test case is finished we are supposed to close the android driver so that it releases all the memory held by this particular object There are several other methods which are available with the Android driver which you can explore further whenever there is a need. As you can see our APM server is also running here and uh, we have our emulator also running here. Okay, Let me run this program. Right click run as java application since our apm server is running it is going to connect it's going to connect to apm server first and then it will try to invoke this application which is api demos Okay, it has launched this API demos now and it started printing some stuff and then it's going to close that application and lock okay so let us take a look at one by one here the current package is io.apm android apis so this has printed this value here and the context is native app and the orientation is portrait and the current activity is api demos and the battery info is not charging currently and uh, when this test case was running the device was not locked that is why we got it got a false here and um, the location was altitude and latitude and longitude is getting printed here so after this it has closed that application and 
it has locked that device as you can see it is locked at the moment and it has closed the driver okay so these android driver methods will be useful whenever you want to check certain items before performing any operation so these checks may be helpful in your actual test case okay so that is the end of this session thanks for watching see you in the next video